this snip, we're going to look at parameter sets for PowerShell functions. This example function takes some sort of content, whether that be via a path to a file which can be read in, or a string value, and then returns part of that content back to the console. If I load this function into memory, and then have a look at its syntax, this would indicate that I could run this function by providing either a path or a value or both at the same time. However, the function's been written such that if a path is provided, this will overwrite the value. So if I run the function providing a value, I receive back the first nine characters of that string. And if I provide a path to a text file containing a GUID, I receive the first nine characters of that GUID. But if I run the function as the syntax indicates I should be able to, by providing both a value and a path, only the path is taken into account, because that's how the function's written. So we can go ahead and use parameter sets to compartmentalize our parameters and ensure that the syntax for our functions accurately reflects the function's inner workings. We do this by specifying the parameter attribute, and within that, I'm supplying two arguments, the first being mandatory, and the second being a parameter set name. In this case, I've called this parameter set file. We do the same for our value parameter. However, this parameter set's been named string value. And notice both parameters have been marked as mandatory. However, this only applies within that particular parameter set. This means if I want to use the file parameter set, I must specify a path. And if I want to use the string value parameter set, I must specify a value. So if I load this function back into memory and then have a look at its syntax now, I can see two possible ways of running this function, one with a path and one with a value. And notice the lack of square brackets around those two parameters, indicating that they're both mandatory. So our previous examples still work. If I provide a value and if I provide a path, these both execute as they previously did. However, it's now invalid to provide both a value and a path. And we're told if we try and do that, that it cannot resolve that parameter set because that isn't a valid combination of parameters. And if I wanted to go ahead and provide just a string to my function without providing a parameter name, I'll also get an error stating that a parameter set can't be resolved. I can make this a valid way of executing my function by telling PowerShell what my default parameter set should be using the commandlet binding attribute and the default parameter set name argument. And I've specified that the default parameter set should be string value. Now I'll also specify the value parameter is for the value parameter is position zero. This just means I don't have to provide that parameter's name in order to use it. So if I load my function back into memory and look at the syntax yet again, notice that there's square brackets around the name value, but not the parameter overall, meaning that supplying that name is now optional. So if I go back to my last example, this now runs as you would expect because I've effectively provided a value without having to tell PowerShell that I'm providing a value explicitly. That's been parameter sets for PowerShell functions. Thank you for watching.